Hello, this is Kyron Intuition, and I'm here to do a reading for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but if it does, take what goes, and please, leave what does not. You have the world card or transmutation. Oh, wow. You got the full card here. Now that is the, I mean, it's the full card. It's the first and the last here, but here it says the return. Well, in Spanish. Oh my goodness. I messed this up on another video of mine. I did not know the true meaning. Oh my God. I was so sorry. I am so sorry, but now I do. Okay. This means the return. Okay. So something is being transmuted and something is somebody here is returning to a how can I say like all of the pieces of somebody is becoming one and is about to move forward like somebody. OK, in Egyptian culture, this will be what they call someone is about to move into the day like somebody is moving from their after. I mean, they're moving from the underworld into the afterlife. If that makes any sense, somebody is moving from the underworld into the afterlife. Somebody has learned all of the different pieces that they're meant to learn, and that's being transmuted into one, okay? Somebody that has conquered a lot, and this is about to move forward. This is the chariot here. This is about to move everything forward here, okay? So somebody is about to walk in the day. That's, <laughs> that's crazy here. Somebody is about to be a day walker here. Like, it won't be dream world no more. It won't be you being asleep. It won't be you being broke. It won't be you not having your abundance. It won't It won't be none of that. It won't be nothing. And you see, I got the Wheel of Fortune here. Now, I can't take all these cards because that's a lot. But I definitely got the Wheel of Fortune here at the bottom. Somebody has earned this, and this is coming in. The winds are about to shift. Change is about to come in. Okay? Now, when this wheel turns... The people that's at the top of the wheel will be going to the bottom. Let me just put that out there. This fool, and this fool card, he's wearing the uh, cheetah cloth. Okay, he's standing on top of an alligator. He's conquered. He or she, whoever I'm speaking with, has conquered all of their fears, or it's it's being overcome. Like that's it. That's it. All of the past is over here. It's being overcome, and somebody's moving into the light. Let me see. We have the Queen of Cups here. Now, why do we have the Queen of Cups here? This is that energy of proud. Okay, somebody's in their emotions. I feel like this is an energy. This could be a ancestor here. This could be a loved one that is very proud of somebody. Wow. This, whoever this is, this is somebody that's very, um, they're very intuitive. Like, I feel like whoever I'm speaking with, like they listen, they listen to the higher messages, okay? They feel things on a deep, a deeper level, okay? We have the Eight of Pentacles here. This is somebody that, okay, we got the Queen of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles here. This is somebody that could make money off of their intuition. They could make money off of their empathy. Um, it could be somebody that has to, how can I say this? This is somebody that definitely loves their job and they put everything into their job. They put everything into whatever it is that you had to work on. You put your heart into it. Okay. Blood, sweat, and tears out here. Okay. Like whoever this is, you're very connected to emotions. You're very connected to duty. You're very connected here. Okay. To high standards here. Okay, perhaps somebody had to develop their emotions on a higher level here. You got the judgment card here. Wow. It's like somebody's being rewarded for their work. Somebody is being rewarded for their work. Somebody has really gotten far. Like I'm even picturing like a photographer for some reason. I don't know why I'm seeing that, but I'm I'm just feeling like somebody has 
created what they were meant to create and they have done it on a very high level here okay without being on the top without having help without that emotional support okay this queen of cups is very emotional this queen of cups has felt life on a very deep level a lot of things have happened to this person here okay a lot of past life stuff a lot of past life relationships a lot of past life trauma and karma but somebody has perfected that okay like somebody has mastered it okay like literally and that's why i'm feeling like this person is wearing this cheetah cloth like they have mastered it's like they wear it as a badge of honor they wear it deeply somebody has mastered these past life traumas and they're about to wake up and nobody helped them get to this point you see ten of sword here painful endings i really feel like whoever whoever you are when you cross over or when you ascend or when you get you get that calling okay or something comes in and changes your life this is going to put an end to everything that was against you every lie every anybody that has something on your life or they said you were never going to be nothing they said you was never going to be nowhere all of that will be put it's it'll be a lie it'll be like everybody will have to be silent it'll be everybody will have to shut up because you don't know the future you don't know what somebody can bring into this world you don't know the contents of somebody's soul People seem to think that they know, but they're, they they think they know until this Queen of Cups rises and then they're not going to have nothing to say. They're not going to have nothing to say. You got the Two of Swords here. Hmm. Let me get another one next to this Two of Swords. Because this 10 is going to be in the middle here. So now I'm seeing all these swords. So you got the Ten of Swords, the Two of Swords, the Ace of Swords here. It's like even the things that you couldn't see. Hmm. I feel like there's people that this Queen of Swords trusts or they think that they can trust and you can't even trust them. Even those people are going to get shut down. Okay. Oh my goodness. This will be something that nobody can do nothing about here. Like somebody's going to be very stable here financially. Okay. Or they're going to be saving something or they're going to be able to save. Hmm. What is it that I'm seeing over here? Because the only major arcana we have with these cards is the judgment here. It's like everything that they could not see or everything that they said and which they could not see will be proven wrong here. Hmm. I'm going to have to see what this Four of Pentacles is when I get over there. Because what is that that is stable over there? Okay, we got the Three of Wands here. I feel like this Queen of Cups has expanded immensely on their emotional capacity. Okay, somebody has progressed at a enormous, like, I don't even know how to say, like, where somebody would cry over, like, a bubble gum. Now they don't even cry when, you know, the worst thing happens. I mean, that's just an example, okay? Somebody, somebody's emotion has expanded. Like, somebody is has a very deep depth when it comes to what they can take emotionally like some people cannot take even a little bit of emotion and some people can take it and they can brush that shit right off their shoulder and that's what i'm seeing here somebody's very stable and they're ready to move forward like emotionally this is not somebody that you can trick okay you have another chariot here so you have the chariot here and you have the chariot here okay up here is the overall energy i know that no matter what, somebody is transmuting something. Somebody is headed back to one. Like all of these different, I don't even know how to say, all of these different, let's say, past life situations or all of the things that you work through, everything is going to be put into one. Everything is not going to be fragmented anymore. 
everything is going to be made into one and that one is going to be able to move forward. It will not be different pieces. It will all come together as one. Okay. And this is what I'm getting with somebody. Like somebody had a lot of different aspects to them. Okay. Or you knew a lot of different things. All of these things have to come together before you can be ready to awaken. Okay. Somebody has to be ready. Somebody is being prepared here. You got another 10 of sword. But this 10 of sword is coming under the judgment. I'm telling you. This reading right here for whoever this is, I really feel like people put you through hell. People put you through a lot. People said a lot of things about you. People made up a lot of lies about you. And so many people, and I'm talking about so many people. I'm talking about so many people are going to be put to shame here when you move forward, when you bust. This is like the energy of like, let's say, let's just close our eyes and imagine that there's a, a big brick wall, okay? So just in your mind's eye, just pretend that we're looking at a brick wall. Now, pretend you see one of those army tanks bust right through that shit. That's what I'm seeing right here. Somebody thought that wall would never come down. But if it ever did come down, they would have thought it was just, you know, whatever. They would have never thought it would be an army tank that comes busting through. Okay? And that's what I'm that's the kind of energy that I'm seeing here. That's the kind of energy that I'm seeing here. Like this is that kind of run for cover kind of energy. Like, oh my God, this person made it. Oh my God. What? Oh no. Oh my God. And I said this to this person. I did this to this person. I can't believe. Oh my God. And this person has made it. That's what I'm seeing here. Like people scrambling because you are about to cross over. Because you put up with that shit that you didn't. You put up with a lot of stuff. Whoever you are, you put up with a lot of stuff. It's the only, the only character out here is the Queen of Cups. The only one. And that's, that's very interesting. You got two major arcana here. You have the Judgment and you have the Chariot. Okay. But you have one court card, which is the Queen of Cups. Okay. Somebody is about, I mean, literally somebody is about to awaken. The Chariot is also the energy of Cancer. Okay. Like the astrological sign of Cancer. The Queen of Cups can be Cancer. Okay. What? The Queen of Cups can be Scorpio. The Queen of Cups can be Pisces. I'm just saying. They could be. You could be. You don't have to be. Wow, you got the Nine of Wands. I told you. Where these people try to defeat you and where these people basically like put you to death, you still rose up again. You still fought. You still are standing here. You get what I'm saying? You're still like... This is somebody that is emotionally resilient. Like... <laughs> hands down you cannot throw a curveball at this person and get under their skin because they are too they're too aware of their self they're too aware of their center they're too aware of their own energy so they know when somebody else's energy is invading on their energy because they have learned the depths like imagine yourself being in a pool right you're in a you're in a big pool this is somebody that knows every crack and crevice of that pool. Like they can sky, they can, I was about to say skydive. They can put the goggles on and go underneath the pool and they can identify every part of this pool. They, I'm telling you, somebody knows their inner depth very, very well. Very, very well. And that's why they're ready to move forward because somebody cannot be broken. Somebody cannot be emotionally broken. Somebody cannot be tricked. Somebody's not naive no more. Okay. Somebody, and you know another thing about this that makes it amazing? All of these Ten of Wands, you see how they did you? You see how they did you? Like dead ass. You see how they did you, right? But you still got a heart. You're the Queen of Cups. You still maintained your heart. You're still compassionate. You're still understanding. You're still loving. You're still open to love. You get what I'm saying? After all of these people did this shit to you, you're still open to love. Your heart is still open. You're still willing to move forward with your life. That's not easy because a lot of people, they close their heart. A lot of people, when life hits them and, you know, you start, we done all been there where we said, oh, I'm done with relationships. We done all been there. Okay. When life hits your ass like that and you just be so tired of every damn thing, you don't even want nothing no more. Okay. But somebody here still has an open heart. 
You got the Two of Pentacles underneath the Two of Sword here. Something is just really, really off balance with something. I think it's somebody. Okay? Like something is just... Because it's, it's two... You got Two of Sword and you got Two of Pentacles here. Okay? Like this is this is something that's incomplete. It's something that is not in balance. It is something that is not clear. It's like somebody is so... <laughs> And my light just like flickered. Somebody is so like off balance here. Like you would think that the twos would be balanced. But these twos right here, this is not balanced here. Because somebody could not see clearly. Okay. I need to get more deeper into this. You got the Knight of Pentacles here. It's as if like they, somebody told you that you couldn't do it or that it was impossible or that this is not... <sighs> This is not going to work. It's like a lot of, I can't, I can't imagine the things that were told to this Queen of Cups, okay? And it may have made this Queen of Cups feel very confused. It may have made this Queen of Cups go back and forth, okay? It may have had this Queen of Cups like in their head about who they are and what they, and how they're going to get where they're trying to go, okay? But it has been proven that somebody here is doing the work. Somebody here is moving towards it. Oh, wow. And you got the five of cups here. <sighs> this is really an energy of somebody that has to accept somebody's stability. And they have to accept that they can't. You This is the energy like you can't ask nobody for nothing. Like, I mean, how can I say this? Somebody that did you like this, they can't come ask you for nothing. They can't come ask you for nothing. What can they ask you for? What? Emotional support? They didn't give it to you. Money? They didn't give it to you. You had to get it on your own. Queen of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. This is something you did on your own. You built this on your own. Your own skills. Okay? While all of this Ten of Sword is around you. Ten of Sword twice? Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> exactly what they did to you that's what's gonna happen to them and that's just that's just the way it goes and nobody can do nothing about that okay people that do you a kind of way when it happens to them you can feel sorry if you want but it's you know it, it's just how it goes it's just how it goes what janet said that's the way love goes that's the hey that's how it go that's how it go you got trust the universe here you see, I really feel like this even feels like reparations for somebody, like reparations for what you've been through. OK, what your heart had to endure. I'm really feeling that somebody here is about like, man. Imagine being in the middle of nowhere and then all of a sudden a car appears. That's what I'm seeing for somebody. Like somebody felt like they was in the middle of nowhere, just like going through things and you know, they, they went through all these different emotions and emotional roller coaster out here, okay? And you're just in the middle of nowhere and it's just like, damn, like, what, is, you know, am I going to get anywhere? Am I going to get somewhere? I've been working my ass off. I didn't dealt with this, dealt with that. And then all of a sudden, a damn car just appears out of nowhere. Like, and it's for you. Like, not, there's nobody in this car. I mean, literally it appears. I mean, you got to use your imagination, people. Literally, this car appears out of nowhere and it has the key and it got a full tank of gas and shit, that joint might even fly. Like we're using our imagination right now. Like this, that's what I'm trying to talk to somebody about. Like somebody need not give up. Okay. Somebody need not give up. Somebody is going to be, somebody's going to get their reparations for whatever they went through. Okay. For whatever they had to endure. You have guardian angel here. You see what I'm saying? Somebody here is going to lead you to where you need to be so that when this damn car appears out of nowhere, you're right there to receive it because you earned it. Okay? This is really the energy here for somebody. Somebody earned this. Somebody been through hell and back and they just need to trust in the universe. Trust that something is, it says spiritual growth. That's what the universe wanted out of you. They wanted you to understand, don't nobody got your back. Don't nobody really care for you like that. You know what I'm saying? You got to care for yourself. You got to go after your dreams. You got to pick yourself up when people try to push you down. 
You have to do that. Nobody's going to pick you up. You can't call mom, dad, brother, sister. You got to do it yourself. That's what I'm seeing for somebody. Spiritual growth. You learn how to depend on you. You turned it into something that you wear as a badge of honor. You could even wear your heart on your sleeve, but won't nobody break your heart. All they'll do is disappoint you. All they'll do is show their true colors and make you be like, hmm, well, oh, well, they're not who I thought they were. Bye. Pretty much. I'm going to leave it right there, y'all. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. I really, really appreciate it because it's how we get the messages out in order to elevate the collective. I love you guys, and I'll be back with another reading later. Bye.